Hi, this is Lou again. I want to just quickly read you the Ten Commandments, the eternal covenant that was inside the ark, written in stone by the finger of Yahuwah. Now this is from the BYNV, the Nazarene version. And you can get it in two volumes at Amazon. There's volume. Is that volume one? Yeah. That's at Amazon. You can get it in volume two also. Anyway, this is <clears throat> starting at chapter 20 of what they call Exodus. That's Greek. The real word is Shemoth, the names. Shemoth, names. This is chapter 20. And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of slavery. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You did not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of that which is in the Shamayim above or which is in the Eretz beneath or which is in the Mayim under the Eretz. You do not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, Yahuwah, your Elohim, am a jealous all, visiting the crookedness of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing kindness to, those, to thousands, to those who love me and guard my commands. You do not cast the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to ruin, for Yahuwah does not leave the one unpunished who casts his name to ruin. Remember the Yom Shabbat to set it apart. Six Yomim you labor and shall do all your work, but the seventh Yom is a Shabbat of Yahuwah, your Elohim. You do not do any work, you nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six Yomim, Yahuwah made the Shamayim and the Eretz, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh Yom. Therefore, Yahuwah blessed the Yom Shabbat and set it apart. Respect your father and your mother so that your Yomim are prolonged upon the soil which Yahuwah, your Elohim, is giving you. You do not murder. You do not break wedlock. You do not steal. You do not bear false witness or malicious witness against your neighbor. You do not covet your neighbor's house, nor do you covet your neighbor's asha, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, or whatever belongs to your neighbor. These words were spoken by Yahuwah from the mountain in his own voice, in Hebrew, to his people that he had rescued. And the whole earth heard them. He shouted them. They were orders. Their co a covenant, an eternal covenant of love. And he wrote it with his finger in stone tablets, one for the wife and one for the husband. And they were stored in a special container called the Ark of the Covenant. Thanks for watching, and I wanted to share with you one other quick little thing. You can download this from Not Serene Store. It's at teespring.com. Just look up, just search Google uh, Not Serene Store, and it'll pop up. And you can download this digital copy of the Ten Commandments, interlinear. I'll hold it up here for you, so you can see the the first commandment here. Uh, you have to hold it still. Yeah. It's too close. But it's a document, and you can download this as a PDF. There's lots of other stuff there, too, that are witnessing tools. Well, thank you for watching this, and like and subscribe, share the video, and let's get these commandments written on the hearts of all the people we meet. Bye.
Thank you.